think the public hasn't been educated about health care. So the public is quite naive about health care, let alone about what an academic medical center is, if you will. And the public is going to go from being uneducated or naive to being confused. And I think that's kind of where we're about to enter. What does it all mean for them particularly, not just in terms of the decisions that they make about their own health and their own uh, uh, lifestyles and so on, but also what are they going to do with their insurance and buying high deductible plans and so on. And pretty, pretty soon they're going to go f to be more engaged. And some of that will be anger, because they, they, and they will point fingers at us, I believe. They, they're not going to point the fingers at the government. They're going to look at the healthcare system that they can no longer afford. They may be able to afford the insurance, but they can't afford the care, if you will. We're kind of getting ahead of ourselves. So we have a wonderful opportunity, I think, to engage the public the patients in their own decisions, that's the wheels on suitcase going forward, candidly, is the patients have to understand that the decisions they make and what they eat and how they live their life and the choices they make will help them live healthier lives going forward. And the obesity epidemic is sort of the cigarettes of our generation, if you will. And working with the public and getting the patients engaged and the caregivers engaged in the decisions and the care that they get, I think is one of the paths to the future. So that helps me go to sleep at night. I think I do stay awake at night wondering how we're gonna make this all work and, and we have a plan for that. And I also think that something we don't talk a lot about is a black swan event that could happen. And what do I mean by that? I mean a, a brand destroying uh, invasion of cyber cybersecurity issues, if you will, and that's already happening in the private sector. It's happening in healthcare. There are bad things that could happen, if you will, and we're all trying to prevent that. I mean, we have a risk management map for the Mayo Clinic, and everything on that map we have a plan for. But what worries me is what isn't on the map? And that's the black swan that, that I don't know quite what that is, and we all know it. You can get to sleep if you have a plan. If you don't know what you're dealing with, that's anxiety and you're awake all night. So that's, that's what I get away. I, I'm wondering what I'm not thinking about.